Hello, everyone. My name is John Brenneman, and I'm the president here at MOA Vacations. Want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, I guess I should say for our quarterly Regent uh, webinar, since we seem to do one every quarter. Um, got some exciting new news uh, today, a very special uh, promotion, uh, but I'm not going to steal Andrew's thunder, so I'll wait and let him talk about that. Uh, we do have a few people uh, on today who this is their first webinar, so I always like to start out and just talk a little bit about MOA Vacations, who we are, and what makes us special. Um, the first thing we always talk about is our level of service. Uh, hopefully, you've booked with us before or at least interacted with us and have seen our commitment to a concierge level of service. Uh, but the easiest way I kind of describe the superior level of performance or service, rather, that we provide uh, is the fact that we have a satisfaction guarantee. We're the only travel agency um, in the United States that offers that, actually, in, in all of North America. Uh, and it's very simple. If you have a problem uh, before or during uh, your cruise, your tour, whatever vacation plans you make, uh, you reach out to us and we'll resolve it to your satisfaction. I personally handle most of those requests on the off chance I'm traveling or unavailable. Our vice president, uh, Mike, uh, maybe handles, I don't know, uh, one out of 10 of them. I, I probably do well over 90% of them. Um, so the first thing you can count on uh, is if you book through us that you're going to be satisfied. Uh, we do guarantee the lowest price. Uh, in fact, um, in some cases, we have prices that are lower uh, than you can get either from the vendor direct or from other travel agencies. We have that program with uh, Andrew and our good friends at uh, Region 7 C. So we're going to talk about that a little bit where you can actually purchase for a price lower than you would get going direct to Region or going to another travel agency. We do a MOA free amenity program. This is basically uh, me reaching out to vendors such as Region 7 Cs um, and asking them to provide a free amenity in recognition of your past and continued service. Uh, Region has really stepped up to the plate. If you book any Region cruise this year, next year, whenever it is, uh, you receive a $250 per, per suite uh, shipboard credit. And um, when I say per suite, region ships are all suites. So basically, if you book any cruise with Regent uh, because of your um, affiliation with MOA, you'll receive a $250 onboard credit. We offer this with a number of vendors. Most of them are not quite this rich. Um, so thank you, Andrew, and all of our friends at Regent for uh, joining us. Uh, and then we also offer the opportunity uh, for you to travel with your fellow MOA members uh, from across the country. We do have some groups set up with Regent, um, which I'm going to tell you, uh, if you haven't done it before, it really adds a lot to get on board the ship. And, you know, the way I always kind of describe, you know, traveling with your fellow MOA members as friends you just haven't met yet. Um, so you can join one of these three cruises, you get on board, um, you'll meet the other MOA members, and it's it's like traveling uh, with friends. Speaking of traveling with friends, uh, everything that we offer, uh, we offer to not only MOA members, but anyone who is traveling with you. So if you kind of go back, and I talked a little bit, for, of course, the service guarantee applies to anybody who travels with you. The guaranteed lowest price, you'd have access to these uh, special MOA fares that I mentioned that are lower than you can get elsewhere. And then the free amenity program, that $250 shipboard credit. So if you have friends or family that you would like to join you on your cruise, if you invite them along, um, you can tell them that if they book with you on this trip and they book through MOA vacations, they're going to get a $250 shipboard credit that they wouldn't get if they booked elsewhere. Um, one other thing I normally mention at the beginning, um, we are recording this webinar, um, probably tomorrow, uh, you will receive an email, um, which will, uh, include a link to this. We have our own, uh, YouTube channel, so this will be uploaded to YouTube. So we'll send you an email. It'll have a, a lot of information that we're going to talk about as well today. Some of the links you might've already seen in your invitation. So that email will go out tomorrow. Um, for any of the NFL fans out there, we are based in Kansas City. The Chiefs are playing this evening, and I doubt we're going to get it done by five. And 
and I'm not a mean enough boss that I make my employees stay late when the Chiefs are playing. So uh, tomorrow you will get that email uh, with a link to this. I mentioned inviting friends and family. Uh, if you would like to share this webinar with them so they can kind of see and hear for themselves what we offer, uh, which is literally savings of thousands of dollars uh, to go on an all-inclusive uh, luxury cruise. Uh, absolutely do. Uh, the more the merrier. Anything that makes a MOA member's trip more enjoyable is something that we get behind and do everything that we can to make possible. So without any further ado, we're here to hear uh, from Andrew, hear more about Regent. We've got a lot to go over. Um, if you have any questions during the presentation, uh, I'm not personally a travel agent, but I have now done 10, 11 of these with Regent, maybe more than that. Um, so I am fairly well versed uh, in Regent. So if you put your mouse or your cursor at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little menu come up. You'll see a couple conversation bubbles. It says Q&A. You just click on that, enter your questions there. I will be answering them during uh, Andrew's presentation. Uh, if it is a question that I think will be of interest to uh, your fellow members who are on this webinar, uh, I may uh, answer it um, in the Q&A, but then when we do the live Q&A, at the end, I'll revisit that. One of the questions we always get is about solo travel. Uh, we realize there's 65,000 MOA members who are surviving spouses, so we are very aware of that. Um, so feel free to ask that question, but know that it is something that Andrew and I are absolutely going to address. Uh, the solo travels are such a huge part uh, of the MOA Association. We absolutely want to do everything we can to accommodate your travel needs as well. Um, so Andrew, uh, that's kind of my quick intro. I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's hear more about Region 7C. Perfect. Thank you, John. Of course. <clears throat> Well, uh, as John mentioned, I'm Andrew Bruning. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Region 7 Seas Cruises. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank all of you for your service um, and being here today. And then also a big thank you to John and his team for putting this all together, getting us together so I can share this incredible product with you. Uh, as uh, uh, John mentioned, you know, Region 7 Seas Cruises is a ultra luxury, small ship, all-inclusive product. And I'm going to share... Uh, all those special inclusions with you today, talk about some of our destinations, and then really focus on uh, some of those group opportunities that uh, John mentioned, where you can travel with your other uh, MOA members and get to know some other individuals, and then those benefits that come along with those, and then, of course, the specials. So a little bit more about Region 7 Seas Cruises. <clears throat> As I mentioned, ultra-luxury, small ship, uh, but and all inclusive. But even though we're small ship, we have a lot of real estate on board our vessels, anywhere between 301 square feet all the way up to over 4,400 square feet. Uh, as I mentioned, everything's included from your alternative dining to your shore excursions, your beverages. Again, we'll take a deeper dive into that. But one thing that we really pride ourselves on is uh, unforgettable moments. So if you are traveling for a anniversary, a birthday, a promotion, a retirement, whatever it may be, we want to share those moments with you. And we do a really great uh, 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 thing on board where we take care of our guests. We do, we decorate suites. We, we go above and beyond the TLC that we provide on a daily basis uh, that you'll absolutely love on board. But we want to make that moment that you share with us something that's unbelievably special. So again, if you have a big zero birthday or anniversary coming up, please consider us. Uh, we would love to share that with you. Another thing about Region is we like to partner with heritage brands from around the world. Uh, right now, we do have a few heritage products that we are partnered with. The first is Fabergé. Uh, we are the only cruise line uh, in the world that has a Fabergé egg that's permanently at sea on our newest vessel, the Grandeur, which I'll show you some pictures here in a little bit. But this partnership provides so much quality and experience when they bring the, the Fabergé team brings their jewelry on board. They do master classes. We do shoreside events. You learn about this product and something that's so household uh, known and, and luxurious and over the top. And that is, uh, you know, something that we pride ourselves in again is that partnership where we can share these ultra luxury products and businesses and families as it's a family-owned business with all of our guests on board. Another really great partnership that we have that I think is super cool um, 
I know the date on this, I do apologize, is a little bit outdated, but we do have another one for the Austin race coming up here soon in October, uh, is our Armorco F1 team. So we are a sponsor of the Aston Martin team. Uh, we do these really great experiences throughout um, uh, the U.S.-based uh, F1 races. And then again, with that partnership, we're bringing in uh, shoreside events. We have the drivers come on board for Q&As and lectures. Uh, guests are going to be able to participate in some of the driving of the production vehicles from Aston Martins on like test tracks and things when we're in the area that those are accessible. So again, these partnerships not only add value to our brand, but it also uh, adds value to your experiences with us. Uh, as I mentioned, we are a small ship product. So this is kind of a comparison when you're really lining us up with what we consider the contemporary brands. Uh, that'd be like Royal, uh, Carnival, uh, our, our big brother, Norwegian. You can really see here that that, that, that ship, the Voyager, stacked up next to the Harmony of the Sea is... Uh, it looks small. It's, it looks absolutely small. But like I said, the real estate on board is there. But the best thing about having these size vessels is there's no lines. There's no waiting. There's no uh, missing out on experiences and opportunities because there's so many individuals on board these ships where you can't get into the clubs or you can't enjoy the lounges or whatever that may be. We have space for everyone. We have unrivaled space at sea, which we'll discuss here in a little bit. And uh, as you can see, it's intimate, it's, it's wonderful, and it's catered to a guest looking for a luxury experience. Andrew, uh, one of those, uh, those, the items that really set us apart from the other entities in the luxury segment are these brand pillars. So we have immersive exploration, personalized service, luxurious space, Epicurean perfection, and every luxury included, which we'll get to here in a moment. But first, starting off, let's talk about the immersive exploration. So we offer an array of different opportunities to take you into these destinations where you can explore the highlights of these destinations. If you've been there before, we have really great tours for guests who have seen the highlights and want to go off the beaten path. Uh, you know, a lot of our tours are going to be included. So I, you know, percentage wise, I'd say anywhere between 70 and 80% of our tours are inclusive for you. It's completely complimentary. Uh, we do have some that have like um, specialty vehicles, helicopters, four by fours that take you into the Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska, for example. Uh, but these tours are going to be small group and have a, a, a small a cost associated with them because of uh, something along those lines of a specialty vehicle. But here is that long list of options, as I mentioned, uh, you know, those free tours, Regent Choice excursions, those are ones are going to be the ones that have a small cost associated with them. Our small group tours are fantastic for individuals who are looking to really have a one on one experience with our tour guides. Uh, our go local tours are the ones I mentioned where if you've been uh, to this destination before and you want to take a, a, a step off the path, those are great. Epicurean Explorer Tours we'll talk about here in a moment, but that's culinary based and they're absolutely amazing. Wellness Tours uh, uh, surrounded by rejuvenation and self-help, yoga, Pilates, those types of things. We can build custom tours from the ground up from you if there's something that we do not offer uh, in the destination that you would like to see. We can create a custom tour and mirror it directly to one of the offerings that we already have if you do not want to do it with a group. We have pre and post cruise night pro uh, land programs. Uh, a lot of them are complimentary uh, promotionally. Uh, we also have mid cruise overland programs that take you in uh, inshore in a destination in between your cruise where you may want to see a highlight uh, that you can't reach from the port itself where you spend a few days inland and then you make your way back to the ship. Uh, pre and post hotel programs, which in my opinion is an absolute must right now. Uh, you know, air hiccups are happening, weather happens. You want to make sure that you get to the ship on time. So I always recommend at least a night or two pre-cruise. Then, of course, these are destinations within themselves. So you don't want to just get off the ship and fly home. It's best to stay a couple days if it's associated with our hotel program or if you'd like to purchase or if it's promotionally added for free, a post land package or pre land package that's inclusive of touring and other uh, uh, meals and other items that the hotel pre and post would not include. We have import overnights, which uh, we'll talk about here in a little bit, but that's something that we pride ourselves on. More time in port, more experience in these destinations. 
and then over 350 UNESCO World Heritage Sites throughout the world, which uh, is, is awesome. If you're really into history, you want to see these World Heritage Site destinations, we check a lot of the boxes uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the things that our guests really, really want to see. And as I'm switching slides, I'm actually going to turn my camera off here. I do apologize. I want to make sure that you can see the screen in its entirety. There we go. So personalized service. This is really uh, the heart of Region 7 Seas Cruises is our crew on board. That initial service that John and his team are going to receive from our reservation staff. It's personalized. Our friendly crew cater to your every wish. They get to know your personal preferences. Um, you know, that your, your likes, your dislikes, we customize to your, uh, your entire experience to what your needs are. I mean, really, uh, the best way to explain this is anecdotally. Uh, I may have shared this story in the past, but I think it was a couple webinars ago. So if you heard it, I apologize. But we were on board uh, in 2015. We were in the Panama Canal. Um, you know, just like any other tourist and vacationist, I had that one cocktail that I just really, really enjoyed. And, um, you know, I, the, the crew learned it. They, they brought it to me when I wanted it or when I didn't want it or when I just had a last let one last drink in my glass, I had a new one waiting. Well, in 2019, we went to Alaska. We rotated that crew and one of those crew members happened to be on board uh, our Alaska sailing in 2019. I maybe have been on board for 20 minutes or so and the crew member taps me on my back I turn around, he says, welcome back, Mr. Bruning. And he hands me the cocktail that I was drinking uh, four or five years ago in the Panama, which, you know, to me, I tell that story frequently. I may tell it too often, uh, but it still gives me chills. That's one of those moments that's just a jaw dropping situation where I will remember that and share that for the rest of my days. But that's just the type of thing that our crew do for our guests on a daily basis. They want to make sure that they provide your needs, they do it with warm smiles and greetings. Uh, and you know, they, it, it goes above and beyond that initial chilled glass of champagne that welcomes you on board our ships. We aim to ensure that you feel that we embrace every aspect of your vacation and needs with us. So the crew is absolutely the key and heart of Region 7 Seas Cruises. Uh, next we have maybe, Oh, why do we always have a little hiccup, John? There we go. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's inevitable, right? Uh, next is Epicurean Perfection. So this extends not only from our restaurant venues on board our ships, but to shore. As I mentioned, we have these culinary uh, tours that we have on shore. They're chef-led. Uh, they go into these Cuisinart areas, these uh, incredible family-owned vineyards and restaurants and you do wine tasting and you learn about herbs and spices and all different types of things from our culinary team. And then you're able to do uh, on our Explorer class vessels, which is our newer ships, the Culinary Arts Kitchen, where you take all that experience and all of that knowledge and you bring it back into the kitchen and apply it firsthand into cooking an entree or whatever the class may be. And short, or real quick, I do have a short video here kind of taking you through one of those tours. Uh, led by our manager of the department, who is Chef Kelly, who puts all of these incredible tours together, as well as the cooking classes. My name's Catherine Kelly, and I am the founder and the manager of our culinary arts program. So the way the Epicurean Explorer tours work is the guests assemble in the culinary arts kitchen in the morning with the chef instructor who explains what we're gonna do today, where we're gonna go and the sequence of the day. We venture off the ship. Sometimes we go to a market, sometimes we go to a farm, sometimes we go to meet a, a local host uh, who may be an artisanal producer. So for example, when we go to the spice farm in Belize, we're met by our hosts, the owners. We get on a tractor and a trolley and we ride through the spice farm where they pick off various spices, flowers, and ingredients and share those with the guests as we are wandering our way through the spice farm. Our hosts are such an important part of our tour. They love greeting our guests, sharing their farms, their, their local cultures, their family traditions, their favorite recipes. After our visit with our local hosts, we'll come back to the ship, 
Sometimes we have a cooking class where, for example, for Belize, we experimented with all kinds of different spices and things that we harvested there at the farm. Our guests always enjoy this intimate, chef-led experience. They make friends amongst themselves in this small group. They love hanging out with the chef uh, and learning new things. So come taste the world with us. I have personally uh, participated in these tours in the Culinary Arts Kitchen, and it is absolutely an experience that I highly recommend. All guests try to get on, uh, on board the ships when they're on the Explorer class vessels, at least the Culinary Arts Kitchen. The chefs are so fun. They're so engaging. I mean, you just if, if you are a self-proclaimed chef or a foodie, it is a must do. Uh, moving on to our actual dining options on board the ship is we have uh, seven different options uh, depending on the vessel. First, we have Setamari, which is our Italian venue. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm Italian. I mean, the, the veal chop here is to die for. It's uh, lightly breaded and, and, and pounded out with mozzarella balls on top and and sauce and I highly recommend getting a side of the vodka sauce and pasta with it it's absolutely amazing chartreuse is our French venue which is going to bring classical French cuisine uh, escargot go the seared duck all the French uh, wines from the uh, uh, wine producing areas of France La Veranda which is our breakfast and lunch buffet uh, it, which turns into Setamari in the evening we have Pacific Rim which is our Asian uh, restaurant absolutely amazing i mean it's it's flavors from all over asia from sushi to uh korean barbecue ribs i mean it's it's flavors that will just ignite your your palate we have prime seven which is our usda prime steakhouse uh from anywhere from a six ounce filet all the way up to a 32 ounce porterhouse this is a surf and turf style steakhouse so you can get uh king crab or crab cakes or uh, all sorts of different options and shrimps and seafood. And then Compass Rose, which is our main dining venue throughout every vessel, which is what you see a picture of here on board Explorer. Uh, it is American and European influenced. Uh, you know, we change the menu regularly in here. It's, and we also have a side of the menu that's extremely unique where you build your own entree so you can have the same protein every single evening and, and still have uh, between sauces and sides and the way it was prepared, a completely different meal every night. And plus, you get to dine in these stunning venues that you have here. Uh, as you can see, that blue wave chandelier in the middle of the venue, that those incredible sunburst chandeliers in the back, the, the color palette throughout is absolutely stunning. And then, of course, we do have 24-hour room service on board. So if you join uh, the ship at 3 p.m. after a long day on a shore excursion, you'd like to, to grab a bite to eat, you can order it to your suite. If you'd like to stay in from di for dinner that evening and relax and watch a movie or a TV show on our on-demand television system in our suites, we will serve room service course by course from Compass Rose, or you can order from the room service menu. And then of course, if it's late night uh, and you want to buy, uh, you know, your fourth meal or a snack in the evening, uh, you can absolutely order from the room service menu as well. Uh, as I mentioned, we are the most inclusive, uh, all inclusive product out there when it comes to the luxury segment. If you were to stack us up really against any of the luxury brands or on sea or shore, you know, we come out to be um, uh, more inclusive. And here you can kind of see a few of those inclusions from our specialty dining. So as I, did, I didn't mention when we covered, but none of our specialty uh, dining venues have a cost associated with them. Everything on board is complimentary outside of our spa and our casino and boutique. So you have specialty dining, premium drinks. So when we when we talk about uh, alcoholic beverages, I mean, these aren't just well vodkas. I mean, our well is Grey Goose, uh, Kettle One, Maker's Mark for bourbon and whiskey drinkers. I mean, we have wines that we bring in from all over the world. And if we are in wine producing regions, we bring on those specialty wines as well for our guests. Absolutely amazing and all included. Uh, unlimited shore excursions, as I mentioned, you know, kind of gave you that percentage of which is included throughout all of our destinations. Everywhere is a little bit different depending on the size of that destination. 
internet on board is complimentary so you can stay connected with your family and your friends at home or if you uh, you know are working and you need to stay connected to your business we do offer that complimentary and we are retrofitting all of our vessels currently to uh, Starlink so you will have Wi-Fi connections that are going to be uh, very similar to what you are used to on your mobile devices in concierge suites and above we offer a free night pre-hotel um, which is uh, uh, in our as I mentioned concierge and above which is category E on most ships, uh, which gives you that buffer, as I mentioned, not only does it give you the time in case there's an air issue, but it gives you the opportunity to explore that embarkation city. Gratuities are included. We are a cashless society on board the ships. You do not need to purchase or pay for anything additional uh, on board unless you choose to. And then my personal favorite, and John, uh, he actually just uh, returned from one of our vessels, uh, make uh, a test to this, but laundry on board. We include valet laundry. It is absolutely amazing. You know, you get on board, you pack the, the laundry bag with what you need for the next few days. You send it off and it comes back and everything is smelling great. It's perfectly pressed and ironed for you. And you do not need to have that responsibility because the whole point of traveling with Re Regent is to relieve yourself of responsibilities. And with that, you know, you're sitting on the pool deck, you're enjoying the sun, you're letting it kiss your skin, you're maybe having a cocktail or mocktail, taking a dip in the pool, and the last thing you would like to do is iron your shirt for dinner that night. So let us take care of it for you. Above these inclusions, we also offer the flexibility with uh, ultimate in, uh, ultimate luxury inclusion. So if you are, have you ever sailed with us before or looked into our product prior to July 1st of this year, we did include airfare. On July 1st, we have actually uh, changed our air program to be more flexible when it comes to classes of service and availability to our guests. So we do have two uh, uh, different types of fares. Essentially, we have the all-inclusive cruise fare, which is a cruise-only fare without airfare, without transfers, but includes all of those wonderful items that I just discussed. And then we have the ultimate all-inclusive fare. So not only does it include everything that I just mentioned, but it also adds on our airfare, which is an itemized cost. It's going to be dependent on your, death, on your, uh, your outbound city. Uh, and your class of service. So before we offered economy, or before we offered business class and uh, intercontinentally and economy class domestically, now we offer classes of service uh, in each uh, intercontinentally and domestically throughout economy, first class, premium economy, internationally, business class, first class, internationally. So your it is your choice on how you would like to fly to these destinations and what experience you would like to have pre and post cruise. Uh, but along with that, you get transfers. So we have motor coach transfers running from the airport to the ship. If you take the free hotel with us and do our airfare or purchase any hotel or land programs with us, all of those transfers are included as well. And then with the new add-on for July 1st, we do have a $250 per person um, credit that goes towards Black Lane. And what's really cool about this is we know there's other, it, it, you know, other entities in the luxury segment that offers black lane transfers is that we actually expanded our mile range to 100 miles. We upgrade the vehicle to a van or luxury SUV uh, from a sedan and we upgrade the amount of luggage that you can take from anywhere. But, you know, they're usually two, two large bags and we are four to five large bags. So it's really great that you can add this in. And not only is it, um, uh, you know, a, a luxury private chauffeur, but you can place this anywhere within your cruise, 10 days prior or 10 days post. So if you'd like us to pick you up from your home and take you to the airport or from the airport to the hotel, hotel to ship, somewhere in the middle and vice versa at the end of the cruise, it is completely up to you on how you uh, want to apply this credit and uh, create the perfect vacation for yourself. Uh, getting into the ships, uh, you know, on board, as I said, it's very intimate, uh, but one of the great things that we have is tons of entertainment. Uh, we have a casino on board, we have Broadway shows, 
We have our own in-house uh, curated uh, uh, shows as well that are Broadway style. We have our signature orchestra on board that plays in all of the lounges and venues. We do have duets or or some type of pianist playing for or if you'd like to dance. There's dance theme parties throughout the ship. Uh, we also do what we call the block party on board, which is one of the best things that we do. Uh, you know, we announce it throughout the ship. And it's, it's really for you to get to know your uh, deck companions, right? So a lot of the times, you know, you're going back to your suite, you say hi to the individual across the hall from you, and that's the most interaction that you have. This block party actually uh, it, uh, allows you to build a relationship with your neighbors because we have crew come out, they serve hors d'oeuvres, they serve cocktails, and we do it deck by deck so you can make new friends throughout your voyages. Uh, as I mentioned, we do have luxurious space on board, and we also have unrivaled space at sea. I mean, here is the entrance to our observation lounge on board Grandeur. Here is the entrance to Prime 7 on board Splendor. I mean, these are absolutely stunning spaces throughout our vessels. They're beautiful. They're luxurious. As you can see from the color palettes, uh, they are elegant. Um, and I'm just going to take you real quick through a video that kind of shows you a walkthrough throughout our vessels and that unrivaled space at sea. So as I mentioned, when it comes to that space at sea, you know, I mentioned there's no lines, there's no waiting, there's no, um, you know, uh, uh, loss of space in our lounges where you're not able to take uh, part in that. You know, our specialty dining, even though I mentioned they're complimentary, there are reservations that are required for those smaller venues. We try to make sure that we give everyone the opportunity to experience every space on board our ship. Uh, and so that's kind of what we're talking about when it comes to unrivaled space at sea. And then, of course, that uh, real estate that I mentioned, anywhere between 301 all the way up to over 4,400 square feet. Uh, and I'd like to show you one of our newest vessels, uh, the uh, the Seven Seas Grandeur. Uh, you know, it's inspired by the past and the stunningly reimagined of Regent's future. I mean, this ship is absolutely stunning when it comes to the color palette, its design, her luxuriousness, the elegance of uh, each detail throughout the vessel. And just quickly, you know, this is the tapestry piece in our main atrium area. It goes all the way up our elevator shaft. It's absolutely stunning. You have that gorgeous centerpiece uh, chandelier that meets up with our grand staircase in our atrium. Here off to the right-hand side, you can see a couple enjoying our hot tubs on the back portion that's uh, associated with our spa. And then you also have a beautiful uh, lounge there that is our uh, Meridian Lounge. It's uh, our specialty cocktail venue. Uh, you know, you can get great cocktails throughout the entire vessel, but that, that lounge there are uh, specially trained bartenders to make unique and uh, outside of the box cocktails for you to try on board. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Chartreuse is our French venue. Here's the entrance to Chartreuse on board Grandeur. 
absolutely stunning flat blacks. The inspiration here was the Roaring Twenties and that same era chic of Coco Chanel. So you're getting those flat blacks, that gold color, those beautiful tiles. Uh, and then if it were a, a little bit uh, angled higher, you would be able to see the chartreuse colored chandelier as you enter the venue. And that's where the, the restaurant gets its name is actually that color chartreuse, which is that greenish yellow. Uh, here we have a picture of our Constellation Theater. So again, where the Broadway shows are, where our musicians, magicians, uh, you know, we have comedy shows come on board. I've been on board uh, going through uh, England and we've had, you know, the, the Beatles come on board and it's it's absolutely stunning. It's just like they're, they're there. Uh, you know, it's a tribute band, but wow, they do an incredible job. Uh, here we also have uh, a picture of Compass Rose. So again, this is the main dining venue I showed you on that picture, which had the blue chandelier. This is Compass Rose on board Grandeur. Uh, you know, it's this inspired by a sophisticated and imaginative um, uh, uh, a forest. So you have these tree-like pill pillars that kind of draw your eye up into the canopies. Uh, off to the sides there, we have these shades that cover the windows that create a starry night sky in the evening. Uh, this picture just does not do it justice. It's an absolutely amazing venue with incredible meals. I uh, highly recommend seeing it in person. And here we have the uh, Grandeur Lounge. This is where we have um, a lot of our, our uh uh, late night dance parties. We have karaoke here. Uh, this would be the, uh, you know, the, the highlight of the evening entertainment post our shows on board. This is where everybody tends to head to. Here is our uh, Pacific Rim. Again, it's our Pan-Asian restaurant that I mentioned. Uh, the beautiful floor to ceiling lotus shaped windows off to the side. Uh, you can't really see it here in this picture, but it has a um, uh, full wall mural on that back wall that's absolutely stunning. And throughout all of our venues, we use uh, Versace uh, plates and stemware. Uh, the Sweet Life. So this is really, uh, you know, one of the biggest highlights that we have on board, as I mentioned, is that real estate. Uh, you know, these suites are uh, accommodating with... Uh, Loxiton and uh, high bathroom or high level bathroom amenities. We use the same linens as the European Royals and the Vatican. Uh, these rival any onshore luxury hotel on the planet. They are absolutely stunning and, in my opinion, a destination within themselves. And here we have that region suites. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I thought I fixed this one, John, but it's doing it again. Uh, so the Regent Suite was the 4,400 square feet uh, suite. It's actually 4,443 square feet. It comes with complimentary air, and I do apologize. It's not sticking for me. Um, I'll look into that again, so sorry. But it comes with private car and driver, spa treatments that are in suites, the use of our study, which is a 12-person private dining space that sits in between chartreuse and Prime 7. Uh, and then, of course, you get, um, you know, that large suite that has an in-suite sauna, a large shower, steam room. Uh, the bed alone in that suite was $250,000. So it is absolutely amazing. Here, what we have is what you've been seeing for the last couple uh, seconds here is our penthouses on board. This is over 600 plus square feet. First category in our uh, suites that offer butler service to personalize your experience on board. The butler, you know, all of us being capable individuals, you know, it, it is, you know, they, they, they are there to really personalize that service. So they are uh, the attendant that is working with all the other departments to do your shore excursions if there's additional tours you'd like to book restaurant reservations, spa treatments. If you need anything uh, just for you and your needs that are specific to you, they will handle. The penthouse again has these beautiful uh, cool teal accents throughout separate bed and sitting space. If someone wants to take a nap, the other one can read a book or watch a movie, large walk-in closet, large bathroom with shower and tub and uh, dual sinks in our marble bathroom. We also have a pillow menu for you to choose from and an in-suite tablet for you to stay connected if you don't bring any mobile devices with you uh, or for music and all sorts of different items in the suite. 
Here is the superior suite. Oh my goodness, it's doing it on this one too. So I apologize. The superior suite is 436 square feet. Uh, it's absolutely stunning against uh, L'Occitane amenities. We have um, a great outdoor space, anywhere between 83 to 136 square feet on your balcony, walk-in closet, walk-in bathroom, tub and shower, dual vanity sinks, absolutely perfect space if you're looking for uh, a mid-range suite on board our ships. We do travel to over 550 worldwide destinations. We actually just launched our 2026, uh, the remainder of 2026 and into the first half of 2027 itinerary. So we have an array of opportunity out there for you to review on your future planning for your vacations. And just real quick, I'd like to show you a video of our new Tapestry of Colors, which is our Voyage Collection debut. Experience a tapestry of colors aboard the world's most luxurious fleet. Our six ships will sail more than 100 voyages during the 2026 to 2027 season, including four new grand voyages, a first ever world cruise aboard Seven Seas Splendor, and more overnight calls on your favorite ports than ever before. And that is only the beginning of what's inside our Voyage Collection debut. 100 plus new itineraries, six luxurious all suite ships, 16 new to Regent ports, four grand voyages, eight immersive overnight voyages, 550 destinations, seven continents, Get ready to embark on an adventure punctuated by unrivaled service, Epicurean perfection, and the luxury of all-inclusive comfort aboard Regent Seven Seas Cruises. We are very excited to be have that much inventory out for you to choose from. So again, reach out to your MOBA, MOA advisor and, and start planning your future vacation. Of course, we still have 24 and 25 out as well, which we will discuss here in a moment. But there's still plenty of you know space in 25 and very uh, good last minute deals in 24. For 2027, we also launched the World of Splendor, which is our world cruise. It's 140 nights Miami to New York, starting on January 11th, 2027. This is a special world cruise for us. If you've ever looked into it before, all of our previous world cruises were on board our, uh, the Seven Seas Mariner, uh, which is a wonderful vessel. Uh, but Splendor is one of our newest ships. She was uh, launched in 2020 uh, and at the time of uh, the pandemic, actually a week before the pandemic uh, started. So for two years, uh, we did two cruises on her and then she went out of service for two years. So even though she was made in 2020, uh, she is still pretty much a brand new vessel. And that opens up an array of opportunities for world cruises. She's, she's bigger than the Mariner. Uh, in the sense of tonnage, but she's only about 50 uh, guests larger when it comes to capacity. So, you know, you're getting a lot more real estate on board, more opportunity for lounges, dining venues, out exterior space on board Splendor. Uh, so we're really excited to launch this as it's the first world cruise on one of our Explore class vessels. And we're very, uh, uh, we're anticipating our guests uh, experiences on board as it's going to be completely different than any of our world cruisers has experienced in the past. And again, I do have a short video on the world cruise. In 2027, approach the world with a renewed sense of curiosity, choosing to travel in ways that are truly unforgettable. For 140 nights, pursue new experiences from mindful activities to culinary pilgrimages aboard the ship that's perfected luxury. Seven Seas Splendor. Enjoy impeccable service from our professional and friendly crew who are dedicated to fulfilling your wishes as you sail across the hidden gems of the South Pacific to the radiant coastlines of the Mediterranean. Aboard Seven Seas Splendor, you will be enveloped in the sheer joy of our all-inclusive luxury experience. 
experience the world in all its splendor. Right. Uh, as John mentioned, you know, there's opportunities to join already booked MOA members on sailings. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about a few of the group opportunities that we have here. But, you know, if you have friends or you are currently already booked on Regent, share that you know, uh, share that uh, experience or share your pre-cruise experience with them. You know, be an ambassador for the program or, or for, for Regent. We actually award you for sharing uh, the wealth per se, right? So if you do, uh, if you are already booked, you've sailed with us already and you invite a new guest, uh, we do reward you for that. So you do have to already have sailed with us to get the reward. But again, uh, you know, experience in Regent and having friends and family or, or you know, uh, 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 co-workers or whatever it may be go along with you to really create that experience and, and, and create those unforgettable moments uh, is something I highly recommend. Uh, talking, as you mentioned in the, or as it was mentioned in the video, we do have these segments called Immersive Overnights. We had eight new for 2020, uh, six and 27. We had six for 24 and 2025. And what those immersive overnights are there to do is to create an experience that's more uh, mirroring of a hotel experience. So if you've sailed with on a cruise before in Europe, for example, or uh, sailed with us in the past, you know, Europe as a destination is uh, very port inten intensive. You're going to a new destin every, uh, destination every day. You're trying to uh, take in that destination as much as you can in the time allotted there. And what these sailings are meant to do is to slow down a bit. So they are anywhere between seven and 16 nights. They are uh, where you spend a night or a day and a half to two and a half days in the ports that we go to. And we only go to four or five ports within that timeline. So you're spending more time there. You're getting an evening experience when it comes to the immersive overnights where a lot of the time cruises leave before you can go and experience the nightlife or dinners or whatever it may be. So this is great for those where you don't have to pack an entire day in sightseeing. You can kind of see what you want on day one, have a really great evening experience, see the rest of what you wanted to see the following day. And then we leave sometime in the afternoon, unless it's a two, uh, you know, we spend more time in that destination. Uh, so really, really great for those who are looking to um, avoid packing and unpacking, having to meet cars and flights and all of those things that need to be arranged when it comes to land travel. We are the resort. We are the transportation. We are, uh, uh, you know, your, your dining venue. So you get all of our inclusiveness plus more time, more uh, experience, and more immersion in these ports. Uh, and if you've been to any of these destinations before, it's still going to be a new experience for you, if you, especially if you've done it on a cruise, because again, you get that nightlife. And with that nightlife, we're going to add a lot of tours as well. So we have evening walking tours that end at a Michelin star restaurant for dinner, ballet, uh, plays, evening symphonies, things along those lines that you're going to be able to participate in. Two of the destinations or two of the immersive overnights are actually MOA groups. So we do have a round trip Tokyo sailing, which is 14 nights on March 5th of 2025. You spend a night in Kyoto, Seoul, Shanghai, and Tokyo. This is an incredible sailing. Uh, you know, not only do you get time in all of these destinations, but you really get to spend time on board. As I mentioned, we act as the resort here as well and get to experience the ship and what ha it has to offer throughout the other evenings, which are sea days. And plus with this, you also get a $600 shipboard credit for booking through MOA, which you can use towards those Regent Choice excursions that I mentioned that have a cost associated with them, spa treatments, boutique purchases, whatever it may be on board the ship, anything outside of our casino. Uh, again, a really great opportunity here. We do have other MOA member, members booked, so uh, you know this would be a great opportunity for you to you know make friends or, or, or you may already know them going on board. The next we have is our June 27th sailing on board the Navigator Copenhagen to Stockholm. Again, this also provides uh, MOA, uh, uh, through MOA, a $600 shipboard credit. 
incredible de- uh, itinerary with the destinations being a night in Copenhagen, turn two nights in Berlin, a night in Helsinki, and two nights in Stockholm. So again, if it says one night, it's really a day and a half because we don't leave the fall until the following afternoon. And if it says two days, it's really two and a half days because you get two nights. And then we usually don't leave until late in the afternoon on the third day. So really great opportunities here to uh, save. There's some specials on these as well with the groups. So definitely reach out to your MOA advisor on uh, on these destinations to get booked. We also have additional MOA offers. You know, John mentioned the $250 ship or credit at a minimum. We also have up to 50% savings on select departures. Again, these are those uh, discounts uh, and and promotional amenities that John was talking about uh, at the beginning where you can't get it through booking directly with Regent or through another travel advisor. You book through MOA. These are exclusive discounts on select voyages just for them. Uh, Also, as John mentioned, our single supplement savings, we do have an array of different uh, uh, sailings, select sailings out there that are offering single supplements from uh, 25% to 50%. So this is really, really great for single uh, savings if you want to travel with us uh, uh, as a single. On top of that, we do, we love singles on board. We want singles with us. We have great singles programs. We ensure that if we have singles on board that you are mingling and you get together so you get to know other individuals. Our crew is really great uh, to uh, make sure that you have dining partners if you choose to, entertainment partners if you'd like to go to the shows with them, etc. They make sure that you have an incredible time with us and that you are not feeling lonely or left out. We do take care of you extremely well between cocktail parties and dinners and all sorts of different other arrangements. So we are right now offering incredible savings here. Again, reach out to your MOA advisor for more details. Uh, At the end of this month, we are uh, ending this promotion, but we still have about a week and a half left, or about a week left uh, on our Iconic Explorations, which is free land programs, as I mentioned promotionally at the beginning, for Europe and Alaska voyages. These are two destinations that we do not offer free programs in. Uh, This is the only time of year that we have them. So it does add a lot of value to your vacation because they are complimentary. So not only do you get to experience this incredible luxurious vacation on board uh, our vessels, but you get to go inland and really take in the destination from a different perspective. And so these, uh, this promotion is there for you. And, you know, the, this value is anywhere between, uh, you know, uh, about $1,400 per person all the way up to, you know, around $4,000 per person, depending on the program and destination. Starting on September 1st, and it will run until October 31st, this is a new promotion. It's exclusive to this webinar in the sense of it being released. No one knows about it yet, so this is exclusive information for my MOA, uh, uh, my MOA members. We are going to offer free first-class air on select voyages in the Caribbean, Alaska, and Canada and New England. So that starts September 1st when the free land program ends. And this is great for those who are not looking to travel far from home, but they want to elevate their class of service pre- and post-cruise with a first class air option. And we have, as I mentioned, great options when it comes to our air program. And then with that air program, you're also getting the, you know, with the free first class air, you'll get the transfers and that black lane uh, credit to, to apply to any portion of your sailing. Because you joined us today, we are providing you an exclusive offer that's running uh, from uh, starting today through September 6th where you will get an up to $2,000 discount uh, uh, per suite, depending on the category and the uh, length of sailing. And this is going to be for 2026 and 2027 sailings. We're actually making the offer even richer for you for 2024 and 2025. We will double it. So if you book a 24 or 25 destination, you can double all of these discounts on board. Again, it is per suite and based on category of purchase. So really, most of our sailings are going to be 1 to 14 days. So you're going to be in that $550 to $300 discount for 26, 27, and the $1,100 to $600 discount 
for 24 and 25. It is a two week run. I know it is a short window, but it is something that you cannot get publicly. And so I highly recommend getting something booked for the future if you are looking to save even more because of joining this webinar today. That is all I actually have for you currently. I'm here to help. So if you have any questions, route that through your MOA advisor and they will come to me and we will get, if they don't already have the answer and we will get everything handled for you. We are here to make sure that your experience, not only on, on board is over the top and unrivaled, but your pre-cruise and post-cruise experience is as well. And again, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. And uh, I'm going to bring John back on and answer or uh, uh, talk about any questions you may have had throughout the uh, webinar. Thanks, Andrew. Great job. Hey, I have you. one thing I wanted uh, to mention. Can you go back to the slide with that, uh, the special promo, the, like the third to last slide? Yes, sir. If not, I can talk about it without it up. No, give me one moment here. So just a couple of things I wanted to mention about this, to, to be completely clear. Uh, this promotion right here that runs for the next two weeks um, is not limited. So there's nothing that says that you can only book one sailing. So you could book, you know, uh, December 2024 and a March 2025, and it's doubled. And then if you book, you know, a September 2026, you get these rates. So I just want to make sure that was clear. The other thing is, is the combinability of all these different offers. Um, and I know I've mentioned this before, but but it can get confusing because there's so many promotions that MOA has with Regent of what's the best deal. And literally your best bet would be to contact your advisor here at MOA Vacations and let them do the groundwork of what finding what the best deal is. So this promotion right here is combinable with most everything, but one of the things it's not combinable with are those MOA exclusive departures that have up to a 50% discount. And if you if you could think it through, you have a $10,000 cruise that's 50% off, so it's only 5,000. They're not gonna add additional savings on top of a 50% off offer. However, you also have promotions that are universal, which is like that MOA exclusive amenity, the $250 shipboard credit. And, and I love the way Andrew advised it. That's a minimum. So on some of the groups, for example, when we talked about those um, immersive overnight departures where the onboard credit is $600, but no matter what ship or sale date you book, you always get that 250. So the 250 is combinable with this program, the dollars off program, and it's also combinable with those um, MOA discounted sailings that are 50% off. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that. And, and you know, I think we just went over like five or six different promotions, which we don't expect you to figure that out. That's what here we're here for. You call us up, say, I want to go to wherever. I want to go to the Greek Isles and I want to go in 2025. And your agent or your consultant will go through, look at all the promotions and get back with you and let you what the best possible deal is. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention before we get into the Q&A, and I know we've got like four questions that have popped up already, is Andrew mentioned I just uh, sailed on Regent. I um, I chose Regent for my family vacation. Uh, so the four of us uh, sailed on Regent, uh, I think it was August 2nd through the 16th. I think those are the dates right in my head. And there was I a couple so. of things that I wanted to address kind of to reinforce what uh, Andrew said during his presentation. One of them was the ship size. When you saw that picture, remember the picture where you had the region ship um, and, and it compared to those other larger ships. Uh, there are a lot of benefits for being a smaller ship. And, and one of the things I, I, I really noticed on the cruise I went on and a full disclosure, we went Barcelona to Athens. So it was a med cruise. Most of the ports of calls we went to, we were the only cruise ship in that port. So when our ship would pull up, of course, everybody on our ship would get off, but it never felt crowded, not only on the ship, but in the ports of call. And that's because the smaller ships can go to ports of calls that the larger ships can't go to. So that's something else to consider. Um, when we talk about the lines, I mean, one day we were in a port and the only other ship was an MSC ship. And it was one of those mega ships that probably had like three, 4,000 passengers on it. 
and went out and did our excursion and we come back and we're greeted um cold drink ice cold towel uh if there if there was a line to get on the ship it might be like five or six people in front of you most of the time you just walked on no lines whatsoever right across from us and the slip on the other side of us was this msc ship where literally i wish i would have taken a picture there were hundreds of people in like three or four different lines you couldn't really even figure out what was going on and it was just madness and i'm telling you everybody in our ship was so glad when when we got back to the ship and you pulled up and that madness was not us it was something else and then the only other thing I, I wanted to mention was the excursions. And, and I know Andrew talked about how the majority of them are complimentary. Um, and then some of them that are kind of above and beyond or smaller groups or in, include some kind of unique transportation were a little bit more. So we had, um, uh, it was a 10 day cruise we were on. So we had nine port days, seven of them, we took the complimentary excursions. We did purchase excursions on two of them. One of them was Mount Etna. And that that was because the, the one we chose, it was Mount Etna options, which were um, complimentary, but the one we went on, you not only went up um, the gondola, you know, halfway up the mountain, whatever it was, we actually hopped into a four wheel drive like bus, because I wouldn't call it like a four wheel drive vehicle. It was like a bus, but You'd, you'd have to see a picture of it to believe it that took us up as far as you could go by road and sure you could have hiked it um it was hot and i'm not i wasn't looking to climb up the side of a mountain so that one was a little bit more and then the only other one we did uh that wasn't complimentary is we did a kayaking uh adventure so both of them really kind of fall into what andrew was talking about which was kind of a unique kind of uh, limited size. You can only have so many people in a kayaking group, even with two guides. I think we had six or seven kayaks in our group. Um, so a smaller group. Um, and then of course the bus that took us halfway up Mount Etna was, I, I think there was, once again, there was maybe 18, 20 people total in that group. So, um, just, I just wanted to reinforce that, that most of the days you're on a region cruise, you're probably going to pick a complimentary excursion unless there's some specific interest that you have. And uh, I have a 21-year-old daughter and she brought a 21-year-old friend. And for the last four or five years, we've gone on vacation. We've done kayaking every time. So that's kind of our, our family kind of thing. So we are happy to, to pay. And the other thing is, is they're not even when you pay, they're not, if you, if you went to Viator and saw what it would cost for a half day kayaking expedition, um, it doesn't cost that much on Regent because obviously uh, it's, it's, let's say it's half complimentary and half you pay extra for. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there since I literally just got off um, a little over a week ago um, and it's fresh in my mind, phenomenal vacation. Uh, it is the third year in a row that we selected a region for our family vacation. Last year, did we did Alaska, and the year before that, we did Greek Isles. And um, so I don't know what to say other than personally, when I look for a trip for my family, uh, we have been picking regions the last few years. Uh, we just love it. Okay, so let's get into the questions. Uh, Andrew, we did have um, one client talking about the issues with air. Um, I know you addressed that um, briefly. Is is there anything that you wanted? I don't know if you saw uh, the questions that were were uh, submitted. Is there anything that you want to add to what I said or about where we are with air? And, and you know, just if you haven't read my responses, um, granted, it's the airlines. It's not you know, Regent canceling flights or you know, moving flight times or stuff like that. But is there anything you'd like to say about air? Yeah, actually I do. So uh, uh, the the new air program is to, is as John mentioned, we're, we do air as a service, okay? So we don't have the control over uh, the inventory, the scheduling, any of those types of things. We are using what the airline provides us under contract, those types of things. So the, the point of the new air program, because there was some issues with the inclusive business class air, a lot of the airlines are moving to more premium uh, economy seats, removing business class air. Uh, not all of their um, equipment is in the air. So business class became a an issue with intercontinental flights. Uh, the reason why we did the change is to really open up that inventory, right? So 
Uh, now it's your choice to choose, as I mentioned, the flexibility in the class of service. Uh, we still choose the schedule unless you want to do a custom error. If you're, you know, you're, you're, you're loyal to a brand or if there's a specific schedule you would like, you can always customize your error with us. Uh, but the, the real um, choice is the class of service on your side. So, you know, with a premium economy intercontinentally or even economy, you know, if, if those classes of service fit into your vacation and your budget, uh, it just opens up that much more inventory and space for better schedules, right? Uh, you know, one of the things that we were seeing is that the, the airlines would contract us schedules that had a long layover or possibly a double stop. Uh, because they were keeping all of those non-stops and one-stops that were really good uh, for them to sell retail. Uh, and so this just broadens it uh, to kind of go back to the point. Like this is just going to give you more choice, you more flexibility, and you more options when it comes to your travel. So when's uh, Regent going to start their own airline? So we <laughs> Oh, man, it's been talked about, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, don't we hold talk, we've talked about it here at MOA as well, <laughs> about starting our own airline, because that's that's where so many of the issues come. It really uh, is. Laura Field said, discounts for watching the presentation is awesome. Thank you. I just want to make sure uh, Laurel knows that um, if you bring friends and family along, they will get the presentation special as well. Um, Absolutely. So when we talk about the 250 onboard credit, when we talk about all these other promotions, uh, even the uh, attending the webinar promotion is available to anybody you bring with you. Um, are children allowed on cruises? If so, what age group is recommended? Um, children are allowed on board. Um, uh, Judith, uh, Andrew, you want to address that? Yeah, absolutely. So we do allow kids on board. Um, we, you know, if you're looking for, you know, the minimum age, we do uh, allow a six month on board as long as we don't have three consecutive sea days in a row. So, you know, we do have infirmary on board, but that young of a child, you know, if anything happens, we want to be close enough to shore to, uh, you know, get to a hospital minimum. If it was three consecutive sea days in a row, minimum would be a year old. You know, we don't see a lot of those, you know, that's just policy. We don't see a lot of that age children on board our ships. A lot of the times we do have two, you know, two destinations that are real more family focused in the sense of generational groups, grandparents bring or, you know, uh, parents bringing their adult children who are bringing their grandchildren, you know, their children, young children uh, in Alaska or the Caribbean. Those are two where you're going to see more uh, children. But when I say children, I mean, we're talking maybe 30 or 40 at a peak. Uh, if you're going intercontinentally or exotic destinations like that Japan group that we mentioned, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Africa, other Asian ports, et cetera, it would be very uh, rare to see more than, you know, five, 10 kids on board any of those sailings. So, you know, uh, one good thing about uh, the children who do sail with, it, it, especially from my experience and with what I've witnessed, they are well-traveled individuals. You know, their, their parents or grandparents are, are, are uh, you know, luxury travelers. And so they know how the luxury entity works. They're well behaved, uh, you know, and also we don't have rock climbing walls and go-kart tracks and all those things that are gonna get kids all wild up. Uh, we do have great kids programs on board uh, to keep them entertained and of course the pool. Uh, but overall, uh, every time I'm on board with children, they have, you know, cause that's one of our worries traveling in a luxury segment, you know, that's one of, you know, potentially you either want to take them because you're going generational or you want to go as an adult. They have not affected any of our experiences on board, uh, usually extremely well behaved and well traveled. Yeah, the other thing I would add to that is, is if you want to travel with kids or you'd like to be on a sailing without kids, um, itinerary and timing uh, are great indicators of, of how many kids are going to be on board. So uh, if you go during the summer or Christmas break or in the spring when the families may have owned spring break, I went on a celebrity cruise once it was over Thanksgiving and there were 700 kids on board. And this is a ship that had like 2,800 passengers. I mean, there were a lot of kids on board. Um, so know when they're in school, when they're not. If they're in school, they're less likely you're going to be there. And then the other thing is, is the longer the trips are, the fewer kids you have. So on like a, you know, if you go on a seven night Regent Caribbean during winter break, 
there'll probably be a lot more kids than if you do, you know, a 24 night Asia tour, uh, where there'll practically be none. So, yeah, I mean, if you have any questions on that, 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 that's something you can ask, um, your agent. So we have a question where somebody was asking about an example of a 50% off there. And I am trying while I'm talking to find that ex spreadsheet. Can, can you switch me back to host real quick? Absolutely. I mean, um, and I'm just going to share a, a web page, uh, which will kind of. Am I back? Uh, I'm doing it now. One second okay. here. There you so go. James, in the email you received this morning, and as well as the one that we'll send you tomorrow, we'll, in we'll include a link to this page. Um, share screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is the page where we list them. We break them down. Um, so we have like a, a mini website for regions. So right here, you click here for the group departures. Um, this is where you do the value comparison. I'll go back to that in a second, which I think is an important uh, thing to review. But but pick an itinerary. Let's say you want to go to the Mediterranean. Uh, these are the Mediterranean departures. It shows the date, the length, the itinerary, the ship, and where the fares start. This would be for most likely a category H stateroom. Um, I guess what you may be asking is, is which are 25% and which are 50%. I don't have that in a format. I can share it. Uh, James, I don't know who your cruise consultant is, if you have one or you don't. Um, but if you wanted us to, if you make it a little easier, say you want to go to South Pacific or you want to go to Europe or Alaska or wherever it is you want to go, um, the agent would be able to tell you, let's just look at Caribbean. Well, let's, let's go back to Med. That's where we started. So if you said, which of these are 50% off, the agent would be able to tell you, and I'm just doing this off the cuff, but they would be able to tell you, you know, the April 20th, Monte Carlo to Athens, and the May 25th, Rome to Amsterdam, those are 50% off. Um, October 5th, Venice to Athens is 45, you know, that kind of thing. So we have that information, but if you saw the information we get from Regent, it's unwielding and it's in codes that that you have to have a key to to understand so i can't really show you the information that we get from region because i don't think it would make any sense but we have that information so if you're saying i want to get a deal i want to get 50 percent off and i want to go to europe in 2026 or 2025 rather which of the sailings are offering that amount of discount the agent would be able to tell you i think that's the best way to say that and then the only other thing i wanted to show just because i'm here is sorry i got all these things out, is is this comparison that we've talked about um and of course my page is loading slowly and this is where you come down here and you can see alaska asia caribbean mediterranean and europe so we have five examples and you can look at mediterranean so stick with where we were and it basically kind of goes through comparing region seven seas versus another premium cruise line and kind of shows you you know initially you might have sticker shock looking at the price but then when you add in you know air transfers excursions wi-fi gratuities dining you know all of that they end up being almost the same price um anyway i was just going to point that out because i don't often click over to the website um I think we're actually 15 minutes over. This is one of the longer ones we've done. Uh, <laughs> I don't see any other questions. So reminder to everybody, you're going to get an email tomorrow. It will include the links. Uh, it will include more information about that two-week bonus. Uh, it'll include a link to this webinar and include a link to the pages we just kind of clicked on real quick. Um, but literally, uh, the webinar is kind of great for you to review. If there's something you saw you want to revisit, it's great to share with friends and family who may be interested in going but honestly, your best bet would be to call. If you don't want to call, would be to send an email and get a hold of a cruise consultant who works with Regent all the time and will be able to take kind of what your plans are, where you want to go and when you want to go and those types of things and work with you to put together the best possible deal and show you how much money 
uh, we can save you. The more flexible you are on travel dates, if we go back to this, you know, I mean, we'll do an easy one when we get back to it real quick. You know, it, it, let's say you wanted to do Alaska. And you wanted to do 2025. Well, if you were willing to go in March or April or April or May, we have sailings where you could save 25 to 50 percent. If you're adamant you want to go into June or July, then we're going to look at doing a combination of, you know, that first class promotion of the cruise show, for lack of a better word, you know, the, the booking bonus that we just went through and those types of things and put that together. So um, that would be my best advice. Um, anyway, uh, Andrew, you got anything else you want to add before we kind of wrap this up? No, that's all I had. I just want to thank everybody for joining us today and, and, uh, you know, sticking with us being a little bit over and John, yeah. you for putting it all together. I just, I thank you for your partnership and all you do for us here at Regent. And we look forward to having you on for 2026 for your family vacation <laughs> and all of your MOA members with you. So we thank you for joining us. We shall see. You know what? It's me and three women that travel together. So, uh, I don't even know if I get a vote on where we go. <laughs> I totally get it. There you go. Um, yeah. You know, I appreciate your kind words. I want to thank you. I mean, you took another couple hours out of your very busy schedule to spend with us. Um, you do it every three months. Uh, you're a great partner. Uh, as Andrew said, if we ever have any issues, part of the reason we can do the satisfaction guarantee is because we have partners like Andrew, that you come to me with a problem. I go to Andrew and Andrew and I resolve it. Um, we resolve it quickly um, and to your satisfaction. So um, please give us a call, drop us an email. We would like to be your travel agency partner for all of your vacation travel. Um, thank you for your service. Um, and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a great day, everybody.